In this video, I'm going to work through four examples of complicated uh, looking equations that involve e to the x. So following on from the previous example that I've shown. So for the first one, it's very similar to how I did the previous example, where I can factorise this because it's actually a hidden quadratic. So what I can say is that I can have e to the x and e to the x factorising. And you can do this by replacing e to the x with y if you like. I'm going to go straight in and doing it this way. So I'm going to have to have minus 5 and minus 1 for that. So that's equal to 0. So either e to the x is 5 or e to the x is 1, in which case x is log 5 or x is 0. Okay? So they are the two possible solutions for the original problem. So let's look at the second one. e to the 2x is equal to 2e to the x. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to take 2e to the x onto the left-hand side first. So e to the 2x minus 2e to the x is 0. I'm then going to factorise the left-hand side. So I'll have e to the x times e to the x minus 2. Now that means that either e to the x is 0 or e to the x is equal to 2. However, e to the x equals 0 has no solutions because at no point does the graph of y is equal to e to the x touch the x-axis. Okay, so if you sketch y is equal to e to the x, there is no point where it crosses the x-axis and so there are no solutions to this equation. So the only solution would be x is log 2. Okay? And that's how we can solve number 2. So number 3, e to the 2x minus 3 e to the x equals 4. Just take 4 from both sides to start off with. Okay? Then I'm going to factorise it. So I'll have e to the x and e to the x. So I'll have a minus 4 and a plus 1. So either e to the x is equal to 4 or e to the x is equal to minus 1. If e to the x is equal to 4 then x is equal to log 4. For e to the x is equal to minus 1, for exactly the same reason as for the previous example, e to the x does not cross the x-axis, and so can never become negative. And so this equation has no solutions. Even if you tried to take logs of both sides, you'd end up with log of minus 1, which, you, which doesn't exist. Okay? The calculator would give you a bath error. And so, finally, number 4. e to the 2x plus 1 is equal to 3e e to the x. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to write e to the 2x plus 1 as e to the 2x times e to the 1. And I'm going to take 3e to the x from both sides. And so I'm left with this. The next thing I'm going to do is factorise. So I'm going to take e to the x outside and I'm going to have e to the 1 times e to the x. Okay, from there. I've just reversed the e to the 1. And from here I'll have minus 3. So either I have e to the x equals 0, which I know has no solutions, or e to the 1 minus, uh, sorry, times e to the x minus 3 is 0. If you add 1, add the 3, sorry, to both sides, and then divide both sides by e, or e to the 1, okay? Then you can take logarithms of both sides, so x is log of 3 over e. Now you can simplify that if you like, because log of 3 over e, using the log law, the second log law, is log of 3 minus log of e, which is log of 3, take away 1, okay? 
So that is equivalent to log 3 over e, or you could just leave it like that. And that's how we can solve those four.